It's 2024 and you still don't know the best styling products for your hair type or hairstyle. So let me break it down into three categories. The dry look, the medium shine and the wet look. Starting off with the dry look, we have clays, paste and powders. Clays are probably your best bet when it comes to styling your hair every day. They provide a strong hold of a dry matte finish, making them perfect for your casual everyday hairstyle. Clays are also great if you have fine or thinning hair or if your hair is on the greasier side as they usually contain ingredients such as toweling or bentonite, which not only helps to thicken the hair but they also have great absorbent properties so your hair will stay looking matte the whole day and it won't feel crispy or anything. Pastes are similar to clays where they provide a dry matte finish but they offer a low to medium hold rather than a strong hold. So if you like more relaxed hairstyles where your hair can still have a bit more movement then pastes are the way to go. And now we have powders. Powders are really great if you have fine flat hair or if you have a short crop or a messy fringe hairstyle. They'll provide instant volume and texture and give you a dry matte finish but keeping it real with you guys i'm not a fan powders typically tend to clump your hair so trying to put your hands through it later in the day is an absolute mission and it can be damaging not to mention they can also be quite hard to rinse out with just water but how you apply it is fairly straightforward you just sprinkle it over the top of your hair and then just use your hands to texturize it how you wish moving on to the medium shine products and first up we have wax these provide a medium shine and hold making them perfect for drier hair types to give your hair more of a natural shine whilst also having a free-flowing hair style that doesn't feel like a flipping brick. And now we move on to creams. Not the restaurant, you donut. Creams are typically softer and provide a medium natural shine with a low hold. These are great for longer flowy hairstyles to give your hair more lightweight control to make your hair easier to style. Plus they allow it to flow and look natural. This is typically my go-to when my hair is longer. I just love how easy it is to use, how soft it makes my hair feel. It just generally is a great product if you have longer hair. And last up is the wet look category. So let's talk about gels. Gels are really easy to apply. You just wet your hair, grab a finger scoop amount and just apply it evenly into your hair. Then when it dries, it provides a seriously strong hold. I feel like gel is slightly outdated these days. Don't get me wrong, they're great if you're in a rush and you want a slick back for example, but they do make your hair look and feel crispy, which isn't a good look in 2024. And when they do eventually lose hold, the gel breaks and leaves you with these white flakes in your hair, which is never a good look. So I suggest using a pomade. These are either water-based or oil-based. I mean, the term oil-based says it all, then it? Your hair is going to look super oily and slicked, which some like, I don't, and it requires shampoo to rinse out, which is just effort. To get yourself a water-based pomade, the shine is still similar, obviously not as apparent as an oil-based pomade, but they still do the job and they're easy to rinse out. Pomades provide a high shine with a typical low to medium hold, making them perfect for slick backs or even if you have a buzz cut. It's a great way to add shine and make your buzz cut stand out, especially if you have dry hair. But if you have a greasy or finer hair type, the only real reason you'd use a pomade is for a slick back. Any other hairstyle, your hair will just look greasy, which again, isn't a good look in 2024. And when using hairstyling products, if a product is in a tub or a jar, a good rule of thumb is to use a finger scoop amount. Less is really more when it comes to using products. And then you just want to place it in your palms, rub them together, and then brush your hair down first and work it back up into your style. This ensures that the product has been applied evenly, which will dramatically improve the performance and look of that product. Not to mention, it would also be wise to choose products that are water based and a good way to tell is to check the first word on the ingredients list it should read aqua which is obviously water this will just make the product easier to rinse out with just water so you won't need to use shampoo every day unless you're using flipping tons of it like a donut but if you guys found today's video useful please do like and subscribe and let me know what hairstyling products you're using i'm expecting some absolute stinkers